So I would say the first few lessons would be, of course, strengthening regulatory and uh, and legal framework, and by that I mean reducing the authorization uh, d delays. You, you mentioned uh, the time to market of, of some sp mining projects. That's definitely key, and ensure also adequate protections. Um, uh, indirect public spending to really encourage best practices and ensure that we reward ESG and socially responsible actors and players. They, they have to be rewarded not hidden because the mining sector, and we discussed it yesterday as well, is, pro is needed, not necessarily desired. Um, data connect collection and communication and data transparency is also important. That's something that we worked a lot uh, in Morocco when we help, especially the informal mining sector, uh, to get access to um, uh, transparency in the amount of uh, minerals and metals that they mine, that they uh, uh, monetize, but also that they transport. And it's there, there has to be an issue of, we have to tackle the issue of trust between the different players, even when they are, especially when they are informal players uh, involved. Uh, of course, uh, research and development is very important, but then we need to get into some of the geopolitical aspects of, of public policy, uh, because you have to uh, uh, think very carefully about water resource management, especially when you are close, especially in water scarce uh, areas and Morocco being one of those, biodiversity protection, uh, in the inclusion of small scale and informal artisanal mining. That's, that's definitely something that we are working on in Morocco. And I would like to finish with recycling. Mm -hmm. Recycling is increasingly, increasingly important. So, and we've had those discussions a lot uh, related to carbon, and I think we need to develop more standards to certify recycled plastics. Uh, like, like we've developed uh, standards to certify recycled plastics, we need to ensure that we very quickly, very fast, and I'm talking the next couple of years, that we develop those standards collectively to, uh, to certify recycled metals and minerals, particularly those that are critical to the energy transition.